Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Phosphorus Cycle. Along with the water cycle, the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, the phosphorus cycle is another biogeochemical cycle that is essential for life on Earth. A biogeochemical cycle is a pathway by which a chemical substance moves through a biotic and the abiotic compartments of Earth. Although phosphorus is not found in the atmosphere, it still plays a very important role in plants and animals on Earth. Phosphorus is essential for plant and animal growth, as well as the health of microbes inhabiting the soil. Phosphorus is very important for the production of DNA and RNA, helps to make up cell membrane, and the production of ATP. The phosphorus cycle is a slow process and involves four key steps. Step one, weathering. Phosphorus is found in rocks. Weathering, along with rain, breaks down the phosphorus in rocks and it travels to the soil and into water sources. Step two is absorption by plants and animals. Once in the soil, plants, fungi, microorganisms are able to absorb phosphorus and then grow. Some of it also makes its way to the ocean and fresh water, and animals are able to drink this water and absorb the phosphorus. Plants absorb the water along with the phosphorus, and then the animals eat the plants, and the phosphorus moves into the animal in this way also. Three, step three, return to the environment by decomposition. Animals excrete waste, and decomposers are able to use the phosphorus in the waste material. Furthermore, when the plants and animals die, the bacteria convert the organic phosphorus into or inorganic phosphorus in a process called mineralization. And then step four, sediment to rocks. Some of the phosphorus gets buried in sediment, which over time becomes rocks, and the cycle continues. Some of the phosphorus in the soil gets washed to the ocean, where a similar process takes place. Plants and animals in the ocean absorb the phosphorus, die and decompose, and some of the phosphorus ends up as sediments in the rock. Humans have had a significant impact on the phosphorus cycle. Fertilizers containing phosphorus is added to the soil. This helps the plant grow. However, when the levels of phosphorus are too high, the overabundance of plant nutrients serves and drives excessive growth of algae. When these algae die, they can be toxic to the plants and animals in the ecosystem. If you'd like to know more about the phosphorus cycle, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.